We are the New Mexico Tech bladesmithing team, and this is second year. Based on our previous research, we used 52100 high carbon steel to forge a total of three pieces. First, a thin 52100 rod was forged flat to the width and thickness of our final blade in order to test various ways to harden the steel. Once the bar was surface ground, it was cut into three sections, each approximating the length of the final blade. These sections had an edge ground into them to simulate a full knife before heat treating. The first section was austenitized and then quenched in room temperature oil. The next section was cryo-quenched in dry ice in order to create a fully marcitic section. The last section was austenitized, placed into room temperature silicon carbide, and then placed into a second oven held just above the marinsite start temperature in order to form bainite. Pen tests were performed on the sample sections to determine their toughness. The second and third blades were forged from sections of a two and a half inch 52100 rod. They were initially flattened using a hydraulic press, then hand hammered to shape. The third blade had to be made due to intergranular melting in the second blade. When working, safety is our number one concern. During forging, we make sure everyone is wearing curve protection, safety glasses, and non-synthetic clothing. During grinding, no loose sleeves are worn, hair is tied back if needed, and respirators are worn to prevent particulate inhalation. We chose to create a Bowie knife for its complex and unique shape, as well as its connection to New Mexico history. During the American Civil War, the Bowie knife was a popular weapon on both sides of the war, but it was more common for Confederate troops to use the Bowie knife, including those involved in the New Mexico Campaign, which sought to take the American Southwest and open a new front against the Union. Our knife is a modern interpretation of a Bowie knife that would have been used at the Battle of El Verde, a mere 40 miles from New Mexico Tech, as well as the Battle of Glorieta Pass near Santa Fe, which effectively ended the Confederate aspirations to capture the American Southwest. The handle is comprised of turquoise and walnut pieces that were sanded to rough shape, then mounted on the blade using an epoxy and mosaic pens, and then sanded to match the handle shape. 